While many fans are upset about the current gambling system type event that we have currently in Apex right now, there is a new event coming out and will it follow suit with the same gambling style or will they actually allow you to buy each individual skin? Also some season 21 news to keep an update and an eye out for and we have got to talk about everyone has been DMing me about tagging me and stuff asking me to please bring awareness to I've already done but I feel like I really need to reiterate this. What the heck is going on with you guys losing all your badges, losing your progress with challenges? challenges and losing some of the items that you purchased stay up to date with all things in the world of apex legends news of course like the video subscribe to the channel and let's dive into what's currently going on in the scene of apex legends well first off you had our leakers who are still at it pretty hard which by the way i'm kind of surprised that respawn has never really nipped in the bud they seem to always really allow these leaks and never really take any action on them really unrelated thought but i just think it's crazy because there's a lot of people that get invited to events and they're under like these ndas or you can't say anything there's an embargo so it's kind of unfair for them because they are under an embargo to keep their mouth shut about the things that they've seen they've played or they know about while you know respawn kind of allows all these other leaks to go around and they never really do anything I got super frustrated when i was invited to the early access for season 11 with the big new map reveal and i realized that respawn didn't really care i was just like well it's no real point but anyways hyper mist had shown this collection event going out on april 23rd and it does look like that we're not gonna have the gambling situation that we have with the current event this is the one for the octane mythic skin that we had already touched base on that hyper mist had released as well so it's a good thing that they don't seem to be keeping this gambling idea but it does suck that they've decided to use the gambling idea on probably what's been their best skin so far now with this new urban assault collection event, i've also heard that three strikes ltm is coming back and we saw the other day that it looked like they have their own trackers for three strikes maybe three strikes is coming back as a permanent mode i'm not exactly sure but we know at some point it probably is lockdown is very likely to enter into the mixtape playlist pretty soon as well so i really think that apex is gearing up for something really big here now, speaking of gearing up for things really big, Crowrindo also let us know that the Season 21 teaser was going to be the day before the actual event, which is April 22nd. Now, don't forget, there was a recent article put out by Game Informer that showed a lot of play tests regarding Season 21. So it's actually no secret and not even a leak at all because they had already shown in their footage of a legend named Alter in the kill feed. It also shown a preview of the new map, so it was very obvious the direction Apex seemed to be taking it. And it really wasn't a secret at all, which honestly, I'm totally game for if respawn's not ever going to do anything about the leaks i think just keep leaking it yourself but also maybe lighten up a little bit on the creators that get invited to it because i just realized not only is it crazy that respawn doesn't really do anything about the leakers themselves but they also are the ones that did this interview with game informer and they showed that map they showed alter in the kill feed so what do you expect about the creators to not talk about the next legend because they feel like they're under embargo but yet you're talking about it and you're putting it out on public socials i don't know that's just crazy obviously we've seen a lot with alter we already know what she looks like not because of leaks once again but because of respawn they leaked what alter looks like they had accidentally shown her little legend profile picture inside of the menu select screen so we just assumed that that was what the next legend would look like and then when the leaks came out it kind of confirmed that so another apex youtuber had shared a picture from oz showing what this legend might actually be like so oddly enough she might have a tail which is a little suspect some of you weirdos might get a little too excited about that but her passive allows to a remotely interact with a death box to claim one item but it cannot be an armor related item also tactical ability apparently creates a void passage through a surface now i think that is really cool then the ultimate void nexus would apparently create a regroup point that all allies can remotely interact with to open a phase tunnel back to that location so of course all of this is unconfirmed and we've seen a lot of leak stuff change in the past so it's not necessarily to say that this is what's going to happen but it's very possible i do think this is a very weird knockoff of wraith a lot of similar similarities to wraith but just a little bit different i will say though based upon these abilities it will probably be the type of legend that everybody wants to play and everybody wants to get their hands on you'll have multiple people wanting to kill grind on her and i really think that she's going to be a very very streamer type legend the tail is just freaking me out though man now according to oz we also might be getting a different version of this cobalt guitar that we have currently now this is a universal heirloom as it does seem like respawn may be trying to get away from the legend specific heirlooms and i know a lot of people are not very happy with that however it makes total sense it's going to make them a lot more money because more people are going to buy it because you can use it on any legend and honestly i think the legend specific heirlooms just really need to become more uh, widespread as well but apparently according to them it wouldn't exactly be a recolor but like a brand new heirloom apparently this heirloom has like multiple different parts and attachments or something i don't know exactly how it works but there's a lot to go into it now what i really wanted to stress very heavily in this video that many people have been tagging me in many people have been asking me about i want to 
you preface once again apex legend is very aware that you guys are losing all your badges losing all your progress and also many of you have been showing me that you've been buying packs or buying skins and it's not working you're not getting any of your apex coins you're not getting a lot of the skins that you're purchasing and it's just basically ripping you off we totally get it i've been getting so many messages people saying please get the word out please help me out please help me get my stuff back can anyone do anything for me and the latest that we have is listen i know you guys may have missed yesterday's video i understand not everybody watches every single single video so i'll reiterate it again respawn did put out that after yesterday's update some apex players were missing rank badges and progress on the breakout rewards challenges we are investigating all these issues and we'll let you know when the fix is ready to roll out but you will not need to recomplete any challenges you're not going to lose out or miss out on any of your stuff you're not going to be screwed over in the end you're just simply going to have to wait for this fix to roll out but your badges should be safe your badges should be all good so don't worry you're probably not going to lose anything and the reason i say probably is because there was a big ranked issue about a year or maybe two years ago or so at this point but basically there was a lot of rank rewards that were not properly given and so a lot of people like received master or got pred but sadly didn't get their rank reward and respawn had on their trello board for the longest time that they had planned to fix this and i think it went like an entire year and a half two years and it just literally never got fixed now i think it did eventually get fixed but it was so far after the moment and of course when it came to the skydive trails those things only lasted for like two seasons anyway so it was like you know what's the real point but there was a lot of rank rewards that were simply just wrong they were like misplaced they were not correct at all some people didn't even receive them and respawn had on their board that they were planning to fix it for a while i hope this does not turn out to be exactly like that they say that they're going to roll out a fix they say that you guys will get reimbursed you'll get all your stuff that you lost but we've seen in times past where maybe things took a lot longer than what they were supposed to when it comes down to the items that you guys ordered that you weren't receiving there was also an issue many years ago where people were buying apex coins and sadly not getting them and i don't know if they actually ever received them i know it was another situation where it took about a year and a half for respawn to finally actually say something about we had an instance where we gave away a hundred dollars worth of apex apex coins and the winner had actually redeemed them and apex did not register them at all and they didn't even issue a refund and i don't think they ever to this day got them what was really annoying in that time is how massive and widespread the bug was but yet respawn would not tell people to stop buying coins of course they're not going to because it makes them money but they wouldn't stop just say hey look i would not recommend you guys buying coins right now because it's not giving you guys any of the coins and sadly we're not going to be able to get this fixed out until a couple of months or maybe a year or whatever the case may be it went on and on and on and on and on people just kept falling for it people just kept buying the coins and not getting their stuff i guess they just covered themselves by having it on their trello board saying that they were going to fix it and it just took forever and i don't know if those people ever got those coins back i'm assuming that most of them did if they bought it through the apex store but for me who bought it on an amazon card yeah we never got it but to answer all the questions i've been getting they did issue a statement they are aware of all these bugs they know that they're happening they will issue out a fix and you just got to be patient and wait for this to actually come so like the video subscribe if you guys want to stay up to date with all things in the world of apex legends news and until the next time we'll see you at later gators Ah! Uh